guys, it's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be reviewing this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. I'm in the shade 104 Golden Beige. If you want to know my thoughts about this product, please keep on watching. Alright guys, just a little bit about the product. This retails for 700 pesos, pero nabili ko siya ng 50% off, so I got it for 350 pesos. If you want to know more about this product, get ready to pause this video. Ready? Before we jump into the application, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you like my contents. And also, click the bell button beside it so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's go to the application. My face is combination skin. That means oily ako sa T-zone and then normal sa rest of my face. So first, I'm going to spread it sa half ng face ko. I'll be using a sponge din ha. But I just want to spread it muna. Para hindi nakakain ng sponge yung product. This is one layer of the L'Oreal Paris Infallible. So, ang bilis niyang matuyo, actually. Now, sobrang matte nung finish niya. But, my veins can still be seen. Hindi masyado natakpan yung dark under eyes ko. I'll try to build it up pa. Isa pa palang napansin ko, guys. Dito sa may bandang nose area ko, I don't know, kahit pindutin ko siya ng pindutin ng sponge, hindi siya pumapasok doon sa mga large pores dito, sa side na to. So, ayan na siya, guys. Remember, kapag magpapatong kayo ng layer, huwag niyong papatungan as in lahat. Puntahan niyo lang yung mga places kung saan meron kayong gustong itago na uneven skin tone or veins or dark circles kasi mas magkakaroon ng tendency na mag-cake. Pero so far, smooth pa rin yung finish niya. It's just that I think hanggang dito na lang siya. Hindi niya na kaya ang coverage. Pero sa camera naman, magandang tingnan. So, I'll just finish the other side. Okay, sa so tingin ko, ito na talaga ang makakaya ng foundation na to. Tip ko lang guys, no? Huwag niyong ilalagay sa buong face niyo ng mga dots yung foundation na to. Kasi ang bilis niyang matuyo. And ang finish niya ay sobrang matte. That's why I think you don't need a powder na nga to set it. Eh. But I'm still going to use the infallible press powder to set everything in place. Though, you don't feel like you're wearing any foundation. Para kang naka-powder lang talaga. <laughs> Tapos parang ginawa lang nila liquid form yung press powder. Ganun yung feeling kasi it's almost the same. Okay guys, so I'm back. Looking at the mirror, it's actually very smooth but it's not as flawless as yung mga medium coverage talaga. So, so far, bet ko siyang pang everyday. It's already quarter to eight. I'll get back to you kapag may nakikita na ako na nag-oil up. Let's do the wear test! Good morning, guys! So, disclaimer lang ha, do not do this one. You don't need to put the foundation for 24 hours. I just tried this one para mapakita sa inyo kung talagang totoo yung mga claims niya. So, I blotted last night after 12 hours. So, nung nag-blot ako, sobrang oily na tignan ng nose area ko. Tsaka yung forehead ko hindi gaano. So, pero nung nag-blot ako, hindi ko na puno yung film ulit. Konti lang yung lumabas sa may nose area ko, which looks really oily. Yung pala, siguro, nahalo na rin yung sweat. Nung inobserve ko yung face ko after blotting, halata na yung foundation dito sa may bandang forehead ko na parang nalulukot na siya. It doesn't look cakey, but it looks like there's something on it. Nabura na rin yung nasa nose area ko ng tuluyan. Tapos nagsettle na rin siya sa aking fine lines. So now, blood ko lang ulit kasi since nag-oil up na ako ulit from sleep. 
Okay guys, so ito yung oil na nakuha ko after 24 hours. Oh yeah, I woke up like this talaga kasi meron kang foundation. Pero obviously, wala na talaga sa nose area ko. Yun kasi yung unang nawawala syempre kasi doon nagbibuild up yung oil. So it's okay. But on the rest of my face, andun pa rin. Uh, medyo obvious na yung darkness dito sa under eyes ko. So now for my final thoughts. First is the price. So this retails at 700 pesos. So medyo pricey siya para sa akin. Pero I got it for 350 pesos kasi nag-sale yung L'Oreal na 50% off. So suggestion ko lang sa inyo, bilhin niyo lang to pag naka-sale. Parang masyado na siyang mahal para sa nagagawa niya. For the application, it's fast drying. So kapag nilagay niyo siya sa face niyo, i-blend niyo muna siya ng fingers niyo just like what the instruction says dun sa likod ng packaging. Tsaka niyo siya i-blend ng sponge or beauty blender. For the coverage, it says there that it's medium coverage. Okay na rin siya. Basta you have to use your fingers to blend para hindi nawawala yung product. Tapos tsaka niyo na lang gamitin yung sponge kapag nasa buong face niyo na yung foundation. For the packaging, it's easy and it's small. So, kasha siya sa, she, she, kasha siya sa inyong makeup kit. And it's easy to squeeze kasi nga, nasa squeezy tube siya. Tapos maliit lang yung butas. Kaya medyo kontrolado mo kung gano karaming product nila labas. And the longevity. So, I tried it for 24 hours. And so far, it's okay. Siyempre, marami natanggal na parts, especially sa nose area ko. But, sa forehead ko ay nandun pa rin siya and the rest of my face since it's a normal skin. Obviously, it will really last long. Lumagpas siya sa 2 hour mark ko na, so, na medyo halata na, na may oil yung nose. Nung 2 hours na gamit ko to, hindi pa halata yung oil. So guys, that's it! I hope you like my review. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment box below. I'll see you next time! Don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye!